I've just had a private meeting with some of the families of the British dead, as well as with war veterans and Iraqis who have lost family members as a result of the war, as I have continued to do over the past dozen years. There is no doubt that the decision to invade and occupy Iraq in March 2003 was the most significant foreign policy decision taken by a British government in modern times. It divided Parliament and set the government of the day against a majority of the British people, as well as against the weight of global opinion. The war was not in any way, as Sir John Chilcott says, a last resort. It was an act of military aggression launched on a false pretext as the inquiry accepts and has long been regarded as illegal by the overwhelming weight of international legal opinion. Sunday's suicide bomb attack in Baghdad, which killed over 250 people, the deadliest so far, was carried out by a group whose origins lie in the aftermath of the invasion. On February the 15th, 2003, along with one and a half million people spanning the entire political spectrum in Britain and tens of millions of others across the world, many of us marched against the impending war in the biggest ever demonstration in the history of this country. Politicians and political parties can only grow stronger by acknowledging when they get it wrong and by facing up to their mistakes. So I now apologize sincerely on behalf of my party for the disastrous decision to go to war in Iraq. The apology is owed first to all the people of Iraq. Hundreds of thousands of lives have been lost and the country is still living with the devastating consequence of the war and the forces it unleashed. They have paid the greatest price for the most serious foreign policy calamity of the last 60 years. The apology is also owed to the families of those soldiers who died in Iraq or have returned home injured and incapacitated. They did their duty, but it was in a conflict they should never have been sent to. Finally, it's an apology to the millions of British citizens who feel our democracy was traduced and undermined by the way in which the decision to go to war was taken on the basis of a secret, I will be with you, whatever, understandings given to the US President that have been now publicly exposed by Sir John Chilcott's report published this morning. The decision to go to war in Iraq has been a stain on our party and our country, but we now have the chance to work together to build more constructive and mutually balanced relationships with the rest of the world based on cooperation, peace and international justice. Thank you very much.